Miss Carly. I'm Miss Alana. And welcome to our summer reading program, Tales and Tales. And we're ready to have fun with activity three from our free grab and go activity kits. A special thanks to our friends at the Buckeye Public Library for sponsoring these free kits. This week's theme is animals on the farm. Yeah, and farms are pieces of land that are used to grow crops or raise animals. And cattle are one of the world's most important domestic animals. They are mainly raised on farms and ranches, and they're raised for their meat, milk, or their strength as a draft animal. Cool. Other farm animals include pigs, goats, chicken, sheep, and horses, just to name a few. And today, we're going to show you how to do the walking horse activity from your activity kit. And the supplies you will need this week from your kit are your walking horse template and scissors. So go ahead and grab your packets from your kits and turn to page 12. That's where you'll find your instructions for your walking horse. All right, so first thing you're gonna do is get your template and cut out around the dotted line here. Then you're gonna wanna decorate, if you wanna decorate your horse, this is the time that you're gonna wanna do that. Yeah, like I did, I used my watercolor paint to paint my horse. And just use anything that you have at home too. If you want crayons, you have uh, markers, anything. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right, so once you've got it cut out and decorated, if you're gonna do that, now you're ready to cut the other um, dotted lines right here. So you're cutting right there and right there so that you've got these pieces separated. All right, next you're going to flip it over so that you don't see the, the writing on your horse. You're going to fold all four of the legs down on that black line. So the front legs down and the back legs down right on that black line, black solid line. So we've got our legs down, starting to look a little bit like a horse. Now the one that says tail, we're going to fold up the opposite way on the black line. And then you want to give it a little curl. It's going to help it walk better. You can use a pencil to um, get a little curl, or you can use your finger like this. Now we're going to fold the head up. So pull it right on the black line. And you can see it has another line right here. We're going to fold that one as well, right on the black line. So then we've got our horse looking like this. Now to make the head, you're going to kind of want to grab that right here and pinch it to make the horse fold it down so there's a little V right there. It's going to help look, make look more like a horse and help for the balance. All right, so now we have our walking horse. Now we got to see how it works. Yeah, so you're going to want to grab a flat surface and get a little incline. So I've got a piece of cardboard here and then I'm going to set the horse on it and put a little incline. And we're going to try it out and see if the horse walks. Look at it go. Yay. It's walking back and forth. Check it out. Look at that. That's cool, Miss Gary. Awesome. Yeah, and troubleshooting. If your horse won't walk, check to make sure the legs are nice and straight and even. Mm -hmm. Adjust the head to make sure it is up high for better balance. Adjust the slope of the surface you created also. Mm -hmm. Trim the hoops evenly to allow for better rocking of your horse. Right. And your template actually comes with three separate horses, so you can cut them all out and make three different horses, color them, decorate them differently, and then give them a, a race and see which one is going to race walk faster. Just have fun, guys. That's right. Once you've completed your activity, take a photo of your project and email it to library at buckeyeaz.gov to earn 15 points towards your end of summer reading goal of 1,000 points so you can earn prizes. Or you can bring it into the library or bookmobile to earn 25 points. Just for watching today's video, you will get 20 points by entering the code above at maricopacountyreads.org. That's right. We hope you guys had a lot of fun creating your walking horse project. And make sure to check out all the activities in your packet about animals on the farm, including recommended books, definitions, reflection questions, games, and more. See you guys See you next, next week. week.